Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn. We'll be playing a fully modded series on a custom design map with a few twists. It has actually a backstory. So if you haven't seen that, go check out the first video. We've got a little backstory with this map. It's pretty amazing. Now, in the last episode, we built this. We built this bad boy. And I made a huge mistake. <laughs> I made a massive mistake. Now, the design of this map kindly reminded me that part of the challenge is not to get any scrap metal. It's not to take out any scrap metal because uh, they actually designed it in a way that the water will flow off here and we would have a little bit of a challenge with how the water works. And the only metal we can get is from this bad boy, which is a challenge in itself, a little puzzle here. So, I was not meant to build a tower here. <laughs> no matter how good it looks, I was not meant to build a tower here. So we're gonna actually, I've got two options. So hear me out, I've got two options. I'm gonna either revert back to a last save before we started this and carry on from there. Cause I actually do wanna do the challenge properly. I think it's really important to do that. Or I'm gonna delete everything as in delete this tower, delete all my scrap metal and uh, build up the scrap metal again in the same place the way it looked before. And the reason why I'm thinking I might do that is because I've, stud I've done a lot of science <laughs> and I've unlocked a lot of things. Now, do I have time to do that all again? Let's see, I'm gonna check a last save and see how far back we can go without losing too much. So in a blink of an eye, you're gonna see the results. Okay, so here we are in the middle of a 13 day drought, well, 14 day drought actually. And I just reverted the save back. I think that was the easiest way to deal with it. This was just before I started mining the scrap metal. I've got no scrap metal and all of it is back. We've unlocked the water source. So that leads on to this episode quite nicely because this was meant to flow out so we don't have great amount of water or great water flow and in the last episode got a comment to make a dam and i think this is the best time to make a dam this this is the time we need to make a dam now hi guys this is post editing firefly here now i just realized the next 20 minutes of this um of my recording is completely black <laughs> it just has my voice and no one wants to watch a black screen with just me talking so I'm going to cut forward a bit until I actually realize it wasn't recording and there's going to be a few things done. So we was planning to build a dam and I needed to add another district to get to that dam, to get to the right place. And that is where the recording is going to cut back in. So there wasn't much missed and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, with all that transferred over, enough anyway, we can delete that. We can put a district's uh, gate there. That means that is all part of another district, right? Yeah, cool. We can just do that. And then what we need to do is we're gonna pause this and we're gonna migrate four people, four adults over to the other district. That would then let them finish building this and let them get over. Actually, I need five people. You know what? Four people is enough. Four people is more than enough. They don't have water though. <laughs> I just realized they don't have water. Hmm. How can I give them water? I could quickly make one. Okay, let's do that. Because they do need to survive a certain amount of time. That would be nice if they will survive a little bit of time. Let's do that and we'll build a water place. Don't know if I'm going to have enough logs for everything. There's no trees here. Which is a shame. We could actually go up here. But I don't really want to make this a whole district. <laughs> I feel like I'm making a brand new district. Yeah, it's fine. Let's, let's see how long they last. Okay, with that done, we finally 
have a little dam that can hopefully support us for a little bit. Now, the way I did this, I didn't build a water thing here. I kept on sending them back when they're thirsty and letting them have a drink of water here. Then in the morning, coming back to the next, uh, the next working day in this district. So we can all send them back now. Migrate back because I'm sure they're thirsty and hungry. There's 12 logs in there. We can delete that. There's three planks. We can delete that. Four berries. There's nothing here, basically. We can delete all of that. Now, we can delete this. Um, Yeah, we don't need to come up here anytime soon. So now we've got that. Okay, so hopefully that's the end of the fireworks. Um, I'll cut that bit out. So you might see me cut out halfway through speaking. But what we're going to do next. Now, like I was saying in the previous episode, this is going to be the ultimate map. And we need to start making the ultimate design. Now, I want to cover pretty much the whole of this map with districts, with beaver population, everything. But first, we need the resources. We need power and we need resources. So looking at our current power options, we could mostly start using the water power here. I think that's a good idea. So let's make a little power section. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and narrow this bit down a little bit. So I would say something like that. And if we look at some power options here, oh, let's unlock that. Ew. I think I need to make it higher, don't I? I think that's the problem. If I do it like this, how would that look now? I think that's good. Now we're going to see how much power that generates. We need to unlock that. Oh, we need gears. Here we go. Here we go, guys. All right, let's get some gears as well. So we can put you there. We can put a power wheel. Yeah, I think I'm going to need more beavers as well. So we're going to need to increase this pop cap. So at the moment, I'm having around 15 beavers with uh, about three of them free. So apparently these people have a, a limited amount of fireworks. <laughs> they just keep going. So sorry for the uh, cutting out constantly, but it will be difficult to talk to you guys while there's a lot of banging in the background. So. So as I was saying, to increase our pop cap, we're going to need more food. We're most probably going to need more housing too. What is housing like? We have four free beds. Let's get another house down. Let's get a nice skinny one. And we're going to put another one of these bad boys. And where do I find them? Hmm. I forgot where to find them with the housing. There we go. And then we can start working on this because we've got water coming here now. And because we'll have more beavers, we can actually supply all the workplaces with the beavers that we need. So I want to actually put this as a high priority workplace and construction site. And this is going to be focused on planting. This one's going to be focused on harvesting, which is great. We need to get that done. But first, once this is done, we're going to focus on... Oh, that that is a lot. <laughs> that is a lot of stuff. Ooh, okay. We need to start getting um, some planks down. So I'm going to get this all built. And we're going to see how much power this actually provides us. Okay, with this bad boy done. Look at this. Look how fast this is spinning. It's at 500 and pretty much 30 power just for this, just one wheel, <laughs> just one wheel. These things take only 50. I don't know how much this takes. Let's take a look, 120. So this can easily power a lot of stuff. <laughs> I am happy about that. I am super happy about that. So now we've got actual power. We can actually just make a little um, production line here. We do need gears as soon as possible so i'm gonna bump this up actually we need to get gears we need to get some power lines going 
And I'm thinking something like that with this, like this. And then where am I going? I'm going to delete this. <laughs> I didn't even need this. Let's delete that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put that right there and this right there. That way, during a drought, we can power. No, well, outside of droughts, we can power this quite nicely. Let's delete that, that. We do need one gear. <laughs> so I'm going to use this power to power this. It's going to be very inefficient, but it will get the job done. And then once we've done that, I've also realized this is absolutely useless. <laughs> this is absolutely useless because I did it lower than the highest point. I wasn't thinking straight. So I'm putting this bit here. And the reason why I'm doing that is because if I bring it up a level, I can fill out this whole area with water and that will help just a tad. So we also need to do this number. Yeah, that looks fine. But that's, that's a low priority build. I'm not too fussed about that at the moment. The main thing I want to do is I want to start getting power to this. And I really, really need a gear. Just one gear, just one. That's all I need. So we can get it done. And then we're going to make a massive production of uh, planks and gears right here. Now I've got a, I've got a design and we're going to test it out. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to test it out. In fact, we can start planning it out now. It won't be built in this episode, but we can start planning it out now. So in the next episode, we can perfect it. Now, I want to make sure everything is perfect. There's going to be no mistakes. We're going to, if we have to delete stuff and redo it, we're going to redo it because it's going to look amazing at the end of it. So I'm thinking of making, oh, I need to unlock all this stuff. Forgot about that. Uh, let's unlock you, even though I don't have metal bars at the moment. And we're mostly going to need some bridges. Uh, that's what I've got. Okay, do I have any un... There you go. That is absolutely fine. And how long... Oh, nearly done actually. Then I can pause these and power will be a-okay. So I'm looking to put a, a semi-big production line here. And that is under sea level. Okay, cool. That's what I want to see. Now, I also want to put power in the middle of it. And I want to put, uh, like at least three of these bad boys. Or maybe even four. Somewhere like here. So these are going to need I'm going to need to make the water a bit more narrow through this area. Which is going to be quite difficult, isn't it? I wonder how we're going to do this. I might have to fill this whole place out with levees. So I'm thinking something like... If we do... No, if we do it from here... From here, is that big enough? Oh, we've got gears. Right, let's pause you. Pause you and pause you. We just literally need one gear. Nope. Put that right there. And what would that need? Two planks and one gear. We haven't got any planks. Okay, let's get a plank. Let's get some planks going. That needs to be high priority. Okay, back to this bad boy. So if we do something like that, and we get this wheel, it's still not low enough or high enough. We need to bring up one more, I think. Okay, yeah, so something like that, and something like that. And I want two of them, or well, four of them, sorry. So we're gonna have to delete all of this here. 
and here. Now we'll do some more levies. Like so. And we'll get a power wheel here and a power wheel here. Look at that. Perfect. So once we have something like that, rocking and rolling, we will need to get some platforms around just for sort of scaffolding. Now we could either make it come down here underneath the scaffold, underneath the platforms here, or we could make this the power level and make the actual production on another level like so. I kind of like that look. I'm not going to lie, I kind of like the look. Now, again, the problem is, do I need to levy up everything so that the water only flows through here, or will that be enough? Because then we're going to get some lumber mills. And how will we chain them together? We might need to spread this out a bit. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Oh, this should be done now. Lovely. Look at that. Oh no, it's not done. Where's the gears going to? Hmm. Come on, I need I need just one gear. Is it really taking that long? Literally just one gear, come on. There we go, now now it's the next day, so they're not gonna bring it, are they? Ah, you guys, you guys. Okay, let's carry on with this. So we're gonna do this here. And let's see how this will look. So if we did something like this, it won't work. But we could work with something like this, I guess. No, even that won't work. We need to go out one more. <laughs> wow. This is going to be massive. This is going to be massive. And it's only really going to be uh, gears and planks for now. We're going to make other stuff elsewhere. <gasps> this is done. Finally. You can stop. And we've got all of them getting produced with a decent amount of power. That's lovely. Now we can not have to worry about stuff so much. And we can focus on this bad boy. Okay. And how many unemployed beavers have I got? Two. Let's get these back open. All right. So let's get back to this. Planks can be made out here. Now, how am I going to make the power? How do I want to make the power go in? We can either just make it come up here like so. And have, a, have it starting from here. But again, that won't work too well. I would prefer to have like a line like out here. We could do something like that. Or we could bring it down a level and then we wouldn't even need the use of power lines. So we could do this, delete all of this, like so. And then we could put 
that like that. And that will free up the use of power lines. You know what, I'm not too opposed to this, you know. Even with like these two bits quite high up. I do worry about the length of the district, but it should be fine. If we also do something like that. And then it can go across like that. I wish you could mirror these. <laughs> I really wish you could mirror these. And we could actually do it on this side as well. How many spaces do we need? Six spaces. Oh, it just doesn't fit. We could actually move the whole thing over by one. That is something we could do. And then we could play about with other things. Yeah, how big are these? They're not that big. I wish we had bigger ones. So I'd like to make some arches over these. So we did something like that. That's too far. Yeah, I wish that was a little bit longer. Why does that not work? Is it because there's stairs there? Yeah, it's because there's stairs there. Okay. Okay, but yeah, you see what I'm trying to say. We're going to make a bigger sort of production line here for gears and planks. We're going to have storage. We're going to have it all powered here. So when we're not in droughts, this should be absolutely fantastic. But guys, unfortunately, that's all I have time for today. We managed to get back on track. We've got some storage coming in. We've got some water storage coming in. And we're going to get this dam up and running because this dam is completely useless. <laughs> so guys, I hope to see you on the next episode. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>